Hi guys! So today we'll be making this crochet bikini top and this that's how it's the back and this bottom as well to match and they're both reversible as you can see so I'll, I'll be teaching you the whole way how to start, how to cut, how to stitch it okay and so as the top the top is also reversible and here are the two types of yarn that I use so I use this one actually which is a Brazilian yarn it's called Verano you can find it in America and the name is Bikini if, if Himalaya Bikini if you want to search for it it's the exact same uh, yarn because this yarn is made in China and you can also use the old fixation from Cascade it's elastic as well so that helps to make bikinis and these are the two you can use for this project you can use 100% cotton if that's what you have at home as well we're only gonna be needing 50 grams which is one ball if you're not sure if you just want to buy one more just to have the color uh, I would say buy two of them okay because sometimes you need more depending on the size if you want to make maybe a, a large size you need a little bigger a little more okay so let's start this project right now I'm gonna start cutting the fabric and then after that we are going to add the, the crochet all around it and a little pieces of elastic as well this is how I cut the lycra I know there is easier ways with the roller cutter but because I don't have the right table for that that's how I cut it so I just pin my mold on top of the lycra and I uh, face the right size of right side of the um, one uh, layer of the fabric with the right side of the other layer so they're both facing the way they are going to be uh, stitched later and then I just cut it like that So first we are going to stitch both of these parts together and so we are going to place them like this and we are going to stitch both of these um, together in the sewing machine with the zigzag stitch number three so i first stitched here and then i stitched the, these two sides together okay and then and then i um, placed both fronts facing each other both uh, right side of my lycra facing each other and then I left here a little hole okay and I put a tape on it as well because I'm really bad on sewing lycra and my machine's not very it's not made for that either so I just use a walking foot really and now so before I turn it inside out through this hole here I'm gonna turn it inside out I'm going to cut straight right close to where my stitches are okay because when you make the crochet you don't want this to be very thick Yeah. 
So here I have all my pieces already turned inside out and as you can see they are reversible both the top and bottom okay this pattern I'll leave available on my website okay just the cutting of the pattern because it changes from side from, from size to size so what's gonna change on the this bikini from size to size it's only the lycra not the crochet itself so we are going to make our grading we're gonna grade this bikini uh, using only the lycra so we are going to increase a few centimeters here and on the back and on the height as well and same thing for for the top and that's gonna be on the pattern okay so the crochet will be the same for all sizes or very similar at least so uh, you can also stitch this or all this by hand okay and I'm gonna show you I have a link I'm gonna put a link on the description below of one of my videos where I explain how to make this stitching by hand and so the only difference with the hand stitching is that uh, it's not going to be reversible unfortunately because it's going to show the lycra folded inside like this one that I'm showing to you. So this one I made while, while sailing, I didn't have a, a stitching machine yet, a sewing machine yet. And as you can see it's, it's completely doable, it looks really nice as well. The one that I'm making now is going to be a bit similar to this one but not exactly the same. Uh, I'm going to change a bit. And as well this can be stitched by hand. This is, all, this is just uh, like well, it's not even stitched. If you open this up here as you can see it's just stretched. You cut um, around one centimeter or a bit more of uh, lycra and then you just pull it and um, you can use to finish the bikini and it looks really nice actually so we are going to be using I'm going to be, to be using this yarn which is polyamide yarn but this is a really hard to find yarn, it's a yarn that's available in Brazil and it's called Verano and this yarn is also available on Aliexpress if I'm not mistaken but I tried to buy it there and it never arrived so it comes from, from Turkey and this yarn is called Bikini in America if you can find it you can use it but if you, if you can't find it uh, just eight ply um, four ply cotton yarn it's okay okay it doesn't change anything on the pattern so we're gonna start making this bottom here I'm gonna put the top away and I always start let me see this is the back because it's a little bigger than the front as you can see I always start on the back because I don't like anything showing on the front so I'm gonna start working with my 7 millimeters uh, hook as you can see here it's a very small and fine hook and the reason why is because we have to punch holes through the lycra okay if you're doing work with lycra I recommend buying a metal one not aluminum not plastic uh, not bamboo because you won't uh, punch holes so easy through the, the material as this one does, okay? So it needs to be um, metal and uh, the brand that I use is Tulip from Japan, it's a really good brand because this is sharp, okay? This needs to be sharp. So I'm going to punch a hole through it okay and then here you can make your slip stitch with the yarn that's how I make it just yeah. so slip stitch here slip knot sorry 
and pull it back. If it's hard to pull it back, just put the hook through a little more and that's gonna open a bigger gap. So continuing. Put the make your um, slip knot on the back, pull the yarn back, uh, yarn over and make your first stitch there. Now I always make two chains in between and that gives me some room to work the elasticity of the lycra. And then here to know the distance it's go always gonna be when you put like this straight like this see on where the exactly where the two chains will finish and exactly after where you have two um, where you don't have the sewing of um, the four layers of fabric anymore which is gonna be sort of like here you can see just underneath the part where it's folded in this situation where you uh, made it manually and just under uh, underneath the two layers of fabric you can actually feel it so can't really see it here you can see see right underneath this part here it's really easy to feel it so because of that all the stitches are gonna have the same height which is awesome you don't really need to worry about it and when you put the hook this way you're gonna f you're gonna have always the same distance as well so put the hook through inside the hole yarn over pull it back to the other side and then make your single crochet so two chains in between and here on the corners I'll be making um, two stitches in the same hole so I made one and now two chains and I'm going to just make one more here so we make that corner and always making sure it's not too tight this is just hard to pull it's normally easy to pull it's because I, I use that tape inside I'm not using tape anymore so that's it guys this is our first row we're going to repeat this row all around until we are back to the same spot here and then we're gonna make two, uh, a double crochet to finish here but I'm gonna show you at the end okay so all around here now so I repeated that work all around the entire bottom and this is how it looks like on the back and now to finish it off here I'm going to, I made a chain after this um, last stitch here and now I'm going to make a double crochet in this in my first stitch just to finish it off just to finish it off right on the corner okay and that's the only reason why I make this double crochet at the end and then I'm going to grab my other hook which is a uh, 2.1 millimeters hook here you can see okay and I'm going to work all the rest with this hook just because uh, I don't need that to punch holes anymore so I'll be working with this one so to start we're gonna make three chains and then one double crochet in that first stitch here in my first stitch I'm making a double crochet that first single crochet there and then I'm going to chain three and I'm gonna skip this first single crochet here I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them, okay? 
So I'm gonna make this next stitch is right in the middle one, which is this one here. So I skipped one. And then I'm going to make two double crochets, one chain and another two double crochets here. And then three chains, one double crochet right on the corner here. And I want to finish one chain and I want to finish right here in this corner. So I'm going to make this last stitch here in that second chain, in that middle chain there. Okay, so that's what I have now. And later on, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly what I did here with this lycra. I'm going to pass lycra through this little holes here and that's why I'm making the work in the middle instead. And that's just to give more support to the work, to the bikini on your body. Okay, so now I made three chains to turn like on the beginning here, same thing. And I'm just gonna repeat this row again. One, two, three chains and then the next two double crochets I'm going to make right on top of this chain here. So one, two, one chain and two other double crochets and then chain one, two, three, double crochet right on top of that double crochet from before, chain one, and another double crochet in that second chain from the beginning. I think you can actually make four chains. I make four chains to start instead. Should I start this again? One, two, three. You can either make three or four, okay? I'm thinking three is better. Depending on the yarn you're using as well. Okay, this is a, an elastic yarn, so I can use three. But um, see what you think is best. One, two, three. But this work in the middle doesn't change, okay? Just this one here, just so we have a little longer square here to after put the put the elastic through. We're gonna make four instead, okay? So you always start with four chains instead of three, just because it looks a bit better. And we will be making around. 23 to 25 rows of this same work and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, a bikini, another bikini that I already made as a, um, to check for the size. So what, I, what I do is I fold and you can use whatever bikini you have at home as well. Okay, just get a bikini that fits you well. I used to make them a little short, now I'm making them longer. And yeah, I'll have to do exactly this size. So I'll be counting these rows from here. And then I'm going to make the similar size. So you know, because this one I know that fits me and I'm making that for myself. So when I get to here, I know that I'm halfway done, but I think it will be around 23, 23 to 25 stitches. And if you have any of my mo of my patterns, my sizing guides, um, 
uh, that are on my website, you can go through that too, because um, the width of the waist doesn't change from one bikini to another, it's always the same, small, medium and large. It doesn't matter what uh, pattern, what crochet pattern you're using, it's going to be always the same, so you can just put on top if you have it, if you don't, um, just go ahead and, put, and uh, buy it on my website because uh, it's really good to have a guide uh, for when you're making bikinis, okay? So you either follow that guide or you put one of your bikinis that you like underneath and, you know, make it always a little longer because uh, if you are using 100% cotton yarn, it doesn't stretch as much, okay? Even though this part's going to stretch. Okay, so let's repeat that for a few rows. And then when I'm finished here, I'm going to tell you how many rows that I did, but it will be around 20 to 25, okay? So I made here 24 rows. And then I fold it and close it like I uh, made actually 23 because I'm going to join here on the other side on the last row, so I made 23, okay? And then I place my other design on top of it. And just to check the size, it has to be stretched, okay? Because this one, it's a bit... Um, I already added the lycra, so that's the full size of it. Okay, it's the same size. So now, to close it, we're going to use the last row to do that. So here, instead of making four chains like we were doing before, we are going to make two chains. Okay, we're going to close it on the back side. Even though it's a reversible, I actually prefer to wear this side. So just choose a side you prefer and close on that side. And so after the two chains, I'm going to put my hook through this stitch right on the corner here. On the very corner. And make a slip stitch. And then I'm going to make one more slip stitch here on this side and one more until I reach this next single crochet so one more here and then I'm going to make a double crochet on the other side double crochet here and then I'm going to make uh, slip stitches until I reach this one in the middle here let me see. So one here, another slip stitch, the next stitch, and then from here I'm ready. So on the second uh, single crochet here, you can go ahead and make two double crochets. And then we're going to join again in that very next one, which is the middle one, where we had this on the beginning, on the other side, on the, the, that middle one, that middle single crochet on the other side. We are going to join with a slip stitch. And just make one more to separate a bit both. Another slip stitch on the next stitch. And then again two double crochets, just to repeat that work. And then here, I'm going to skip this one, make my next slip stitch here, in that next chain, and another slip stitch on the next single crochet here, and then again one double crochet on the other side. One more slip stitch in that middle chain. Another slip stitch in the corner there. 
and then a double crochet in that second chain here second chain at the beginning and then we are finished and that's how it looks like pretty perfect on both sides really so you can use still wear both sides and now I'm thinking if I'm going to Mm. Yeah, I'm going to just make a, another slip stitch here to finish my work and then restart on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to start um, I'm going to start on the back. You can start on the front if you want. I'm just starting on the back because that's where I started before and I want to repeat the same thing. And to start we are going to make our slip knot. And then we are going to start right here. In the very corner. That chain right on the corner there with a slip knot and four chains. One double crochet in that next single crochet and then chain three. I skip one single crochet on the very next single crochet we are going to make or two double crochets with a chain and another two double crochets all in that same single crochet in the middle and then chain one two three skip one single crochet one double crochet one chain and another double crochet right in this chain in the middle there, the second chain right on the corner and then chain 4 and repeat this same thing for 23 rows until you reach the other side here and join the, the other side exact same way. So after this what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be adding a little edge here and an edge here and we are going to be edging an edge here as well and two pieces of elastic one each side here to give it this finish similar finish to that if you don't have red elastic I have red elastic here I'm gonna be using red elastic you can use the lycra as well each whatever color you prefer okay so I'll be re finishing this and then I'm going to show you how to add the elastic just halfway just from here to here okay so here just before we close this that's the size I have so eight with the last row okay but as you can see this stretches a bit so let's see stretched so stretched it's almost nine okay so if you're using cotton yarn you make a few rows extra just just to make sure because anyway after we're gonna uh, add the elastic here and that's gonna you know make it tighter so um 23 centimeters just to the side okay and if you want the other measures this is a size medium because it's for me. This is 20 centimeters or 8 inches here. Here, 7 inches or 18 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm just gonna close this on the other side and then we're gonna start making the edges and I'm gonna add the elastic as well. Now here I finished 
right here to join both sides together. I joined on the other side as you can see here. And now uh, if you feel if you're making uh, this with cotton and you feel like you need more support, just add elastic here like I always add on my other tutorials you can see how I add elastic. Just cut a smaller piece of elastic, join 3 millimeters or 5 millimeters elastic, join both together like a, a loop this big from here to here and double and add the elastic under. I'm not gonna add elastic under because um, this is a bit stretchy and I'm gonna make sure this is like the size this is a, a bit smaller when I finish edging the elastic like this one see this one it stretches so I'm not gonna add it I'm going to from here straight to the picot stitch and then so from here on the very next stitch I'm going to make a single crochet this time one single crochet in this next one another single crochet here and then I'm going to chain chain two and I'm going to single crochet in that single crochet just before here to make the first picot and then single crochet on the very next single crochet single crochet in the in chain another single crochet in the, that single crochet another single crochet in chain and picot again you can make your picot with three chains if you want a bigger picot yeah i make with two because i want a very small picot stitch so i'm going to do this all the way around this leg gonna make this all around this leg I'm gonna make this around here or I'm gonna add the elastic before just to see if I need elastic here as well on the top okay so I'm just going to do picot repeat this picot stitch all around both legs and then we are going to add the elastic after so here for the elastic here on this part here that's what i'm gonna put through through the squares the little crochet squares there you can either use a piece of lycra like i have here see how it folds when you when you stretch it it folds itself on itself so the size is a little more than half an inch that you have to cut or one and a half centimeters it can be as two centimeters a little bit uh, thicker if you want but this should be enough and then the size just um, just a little bigger really than the than the size of your side and then what you're gonna do on the edges you're gonna just fold it here and stitch on the back okay so and make sure you stretch a bit so when this yeah when you finish this is gonna be actually work um, to keep the bikini on your body so it doesn't fall off your body okay so it, this needs to be a bit stretched and I am using this uh, six centimeters elastic, a so flat elastic. That's what I'm gonna use. And because we are making reverse reversible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it and then stitch both both sides of this um, um, elastic and just zigzag all the way to the other side make sure it's stretched as well so it holds on the body okay so i'll be doing that and then just with a red thread uh, stitch stitch this uh, little end on both sides folded just like that 
So after you put that elastic through all the, the rows here, then you're gonna cut it. So then you're gonna feel how much you want this to stretch, okay? And then you're gonna cut on the size you you want, but you want this stretch sort of just so it's gonna hold on your body. And then you cut a bit further like this, so you can fold and stitch on the way back. I think it's enough for me. So I only cut after I pass it through, okay, so I don't waste any elastic. And then here put it through on the last one and fold to the back. Just make sure you fold both sides to the same side. And then I'm going to stitch it with the thread. You can do on your sewing machine as well. Okay, I'm just gonna start here. And here with the tails, because I'm using polyamide lining, uh, polyamide yarn, what, I, what you can do is you put, you hide it under a few stitches like I did here, and then you're gonna cut it, just leave a little tail there at the end, and then because it's polyamide you can burn it, so what I do is I burn it a bit there, just a little bit and straight away just do that with your finger and that's don't know if you can see it properly but yeah it just glues to the other part of it so this won't open okay I'm going to do that with all my tails okay and then I'm going to just add this elastic on the other parts now so this is our bikini ready, as you can see, it's all stretchy and it's also reversible. Can't wait to wear on the beach. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna be making now the top and for the top I'm gonna start the same way I started on the bottom and uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel because I'll keep posting either central machine patterns or crochet, big crochet swimwear, that's what I like the most. I see you guys soon!